Welcome to CivilNet. My guest today from Istanbul is Mehmet Onur Yilmaz, who is with an organization called Gündem Çocuk, and they are responsible for a, an opinion research survey that was just conducted about discrimination against children. Mehmet, thank you for giving us the time on CivilNet. It's a pleasure for me, Sophie. Um, Mehmet, tell us what you did and why you did it. This was a survey of uh, mm. the entire Turkish population, a countrywide survey? Uh, it's a countrywide survey, but it's a general evaluation survey, not such as case survey, but we also mentioned some cases as well. It's a countrywide survey. Okay, and you tried to determine under what circumstances children are discriminated against. That's right. Uh, yes. Go ahead and tell us what you found. And remember, uh, this isn't for academics. This is just a, a general understanding of the social perceptions. That's right. Uh, well, what, we, what we have tried to do is that try to find out the discriminative issues that is affecting t children in Turkey in general because it, we think, we thought that it should have been different than adults because uh, children are also, also discriminating as adults but they ha there are some different uh, titles or let's say topics that we can tell domains that... Uh, they were discriminated because of because of so we in our this is our first report on discrimination against children so we have tried to find out the major domains that we are going to focus on in the next years and we have found out 15 different domains that our children are being discriminated and it's a mix isn't it of physical issues ethnic issues social yes, issues uh, sh maybe those are the three areas maybe we should divide them up you did find that uh, Social issues are an issue, huh? Discrimination against the poor. Maybe we can we can divide it into two. There are some common domains that uh, children are being discriminated as adults, and there are some other domains that are children specially being discriminated as because they are children. So, for example, racial discrimination or uh, ethnic discrimination or religious discrimination, you can also see those kind of discriminations as in adults, but... In other words, others, in other words, yeah. a discrimination against Armenians or Greeks or Kurds, whether you're an adult That's Armenian right. or a child Armenian, you're still discriminated against. That's right. But there are some special domains that we have, uh, where we have, to have tried to focus on that they're only special for children and some uh, specific, uh, for children who has some specific features or specifications in their, uh, in their means. So we have tried to find, uh, for example, uh, children may not be living with their parents are discriminated in such a way, or uh, children in alternative care is discriminated in a way, or, for example, uh, as first degree relative of a children might be disabled is a matter of discrimination for a children, for a child. So uh, if, if a first degree relative of a child is, uh, for example, disabled, it means that if it's a girl, for example, she, she might have to be uh, taking care of her or him, so he will, she will be away of education or any other kind of her, her, his or her rights. So, for example, children may be involved in judicial system, may be pushed into crime or being victimized may be a domain of discrimination for children. Uh, so, for let, example, me, let me understand. They're discriminated against because they are somehow be, uh, being discovered to be in illegal situations. In yeah, other words, charged with crimes. Uh, the yeah, judicial system for children should be very special in all countries, but in, especially in Turkey we have serious problems about those. So if you're a child, or if, you're, if you're pushed to a, a crime, in uh, either to be a victim or not, uh, you, you are, you are uh, somehow victimized. Then you are you are discriminated, starting from the first part of this judicial system to the end of it. Okay, okay. And uh, for example, one some other for example, child developmental physical discrepancies or disadvantages may be a, 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 a domain for discrimination. I mean, it 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 seems to be very uh, normal. For example, a child being very tall in the, in uh, according to their his or her friends or a child being a very fat or very thin in, in comparison sure, to all the friends. standard Maybe social the, issues. Uh, domain for discrimination. Tell me something about the, the ethnic discrimination because the part of that that's interesting is that a child would even recognize that another child is ethnically different. Why is it that children know this? 
Uh, how do they know this? In fact, it's taught by adults because children do not know about their ethnic backgrounds. But somehow, being a part of an ethnic uh, ethnic, ethnic issue in in a country like Turkey, it is taught to be. Uh, so the children are taught that other kind kind of children who has different ethnic issues are different. So, for example, as as my ch- in in my childhood, I had a friend uh, uh, called he, he was his his name was Ismail, and some of my friends started to behave bad to him. Then I learned that he he's just Alevi. So I di- I, I didn't even know what what is Alevi because we were just around nine years old because. Uh, my my friends were taught that Al- Ismail is Alevi, so uh, he has to be different, and so he's uh, he's a, a sort of discriminated in in his friends. Is there any sort of uh, guilt related discrimination? In other mm-hmm. words, adults knowing that in the past uh, there were events, violence against some of these minorities, certainly Armenians, certainly Kurds, Jews, Greeks, and so almost uh, distancing themselves from that responsibility in a way. Of course there is. For example, uh, in, this, in this report we also had some interviews for uh, with some people between 18 to 25 and we discussed with them about their childhood. One of them was uh, an Ar- Armenian girl uh, living in Turkey now, and we, we deeply discussed about her childhood in this report. And we, we have found out very discri- uh, many discriminative issues. And what is uh, upsetting is that nothing has changed. Also, he, he, she, she used to be talking about 10 years before. Now uh, the, there is nothing to change because uh, for discriminative issues, if you're expecting a change, you have to change something, regulations or social behavior or whatever, but nothing has changed in Turkey for uh, against discriminative issues. So starting from school to uh, judicial issues to uh, social issues, even uh, walking on the street may be a discriminative issue for an Armenian girl if you have a cross on your neck uh, or whatever. So uh, these discriminative issues, especially for, for example, Armenian people in Turkey, it is also uh, a combination of ethnic issue and religious issue together. So uh, discriminative uh, atmosphere here in Turkey may be much more effective for these kind of people. What do you intend uh, to do with the results of the report? What happens next? Does this become a basis for policy recommendations? What we want to, first of all, we want to show that this, this kind of discriminations exist in Turkey. So uh, discrimination against children is not to be known that it is existing and we are living in it. So discrimination is such an atmosphere that you don't feel it otherwise if you really do not talk about it. Because it's, it's everywhere. It's not like a human rights violations that is a case, but it's a type of life. It's a social, it's a part of a social life. So why, why we do these reports that we want to show everybody, starting from uh, governmental institutions to NGOs uh, to individuals as well, that discrimination against children exists in Turkey. So these 15 different titles in, in following years, we are going to uh, focus on each of them. Each of the and types try, of discrimination. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe these, each, of ty- each, each of these types will be different reports and several different reports and we're going to try to show case by case and we're trying to increase the number of cases that we're going to have interview with and show everybody that this kind of discriminations exist and we, we have to do something about it. Everybody has to do something. State institutions and governmental government, governments should do something. NGOs should do something but on the, on, the, on the other hand, as we are individuals, we have to do something about it because discrimination is a uh, one-by-one in, uh, um, issue that is happening. Thank you. This has been both interesting, enlightening, uh, and also makes me think about the situation in other countries uh, where Armenians are minorities, yeah. including uh, this country and our attitude yeah. towards children. Thank you very much, and we look forward to successive reports. Yeah. Thank you very much also. Thank you, and thank you for following us on Civil Land.